So let's take a look at magnetic mains. Before we talk about the updates for 2018, I just want to reintroduce magnetic mates as a concept for those of you who may not be aware of it. So as we know, mating large assemblies can involve high numbers of mates and very complicated components, and magnetic mates as a technology was brought in to try and address some of these performance concerns. So let's take a look at how it works. So if we go over to this side of our conveyor layout, I'd like to add in uh, another spur conveyor to our assembly line here. So we'll select the component that we want to use. In our case, this is a sub-assembly, and we'll drag it onto screen like so. So the first thing you'll notice is that the component with the magnetic mate defined snaps to a ground plane. So automatically, that is positioned on a plane already for us. You'll see a large amount of magenta dots all over the screen as well. These are our magnetic mate connection points. So if I hover my component close to one of those, you'll see I get a line connecting the two together. All I need to do at this point is click and place, and the component will position itself correctly for me. So we'll do that again with this curve conveyor here. So again, dragging it into our assembly, you'll see it snaps itself to a ground plane. Clicking, once the line is connected, positions the component. Now if I just turn on my speed pack graphics circle, you'll see that quite a large amount of information is actually removed from memory in this particular example. So we're utilizing speed packs along with magnetic mates to simplify and speed up the performance of our assembly. We'll go ahead and we'll open this curved conveyor in its own window and take a look at how this works. So again, just re-emphasizing the speed pack here, you can see that we're only loading in the two outer and inner rails uh, into memory. So to take a look at this in a bit more detail, we'll switch over to the default configuration and fully load all the information for this assembly. So we can see all the parts are loaded, any pattern information, and there's a couple of sketches towards the bottom. To generate a magnetic mate, you need to utilize something called the Asset Publisher. We'll go ahead and we'll edit this one that's been created for us. So at the top, we specify a ground plane, so the snapping plane that's going to be used and any offset we might like to include here as well. And then we can define connection points. If I go ahead and edit this connector, you'll see this is defined simply with a point and a direction, so a point in a sketch and a face to control the direction. This is one of the reasons why it works very well with Speedpack, because we can lose quite a lot of information uh, whilst only retaining maybe a sketch in a single face. So that's how we define our magnetic mates. Let's switch back to the assembly and take a look at what's new for 2018. So let's switch over to this other view and take a look at what's new for 2018. So in our example here, we have a mezzanine floor added into this assembly. And one of the areas that's seen improvements is we now have the ability to specify multiple ground planes. So just towards the bottom of the assembly is where we define our ground plane. And you can see that in this 2018 assembly, we have two ground planes. So now if I go ahead and insert a component, now I've activated the second ground plane, you'll see it snaps automatically onto that second ground plane. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to position my next conveyor onto this one here like so. And the next update becomes visible to us straight away. And that is the introduction of the lock mate over the top of the assembly that we're placing. Now this did used to be possible to lock the magnetic mates in previous releases, but it was a little awkward to find. We'd have to go into the magnetic mate in the tree to grab hold of that. So now it appears directly on screen. Our final update is regarding the position of the components and which points we use to position them. So you'll see here if I use the same assembly again, I'm uh, using the default points on both components. I can now toggle which one I use on the moving component using the open square brackets and which one I use on the fixed component using the closed square brackets. So we gain a lot more flexibility in terms of positioning things correctly, which we weren't able to do in previous releases. So what we've seen is 
that the Magnetic Mate technology was introduced in 2017. In 2018, we can now add multiple ground planes. The lock mate is much more discoverable and we can cycle through more uh, mate connectors. In our next video, we'll take a look at SolidWorks simulation. Thank you.